Hey guys, want to know how to rock a home office? I'm going to show you my top 10 IKEA favorite pieces and hacks. Let's go! There's a few things you absolutely have to have. You have to have a decent work surface. You have to have a good chair and or stool. You need storage for all kinds of things. You definitely need privacy. You need a decent light. And you've got to have reading glasses for your cat. My cat's always at the computer. The key to finding good solutions that work for you and your space is to think flexibly about things. And that's why IKEA is so great. So the number one thing we all need to find is a little kind of a quiet zone or some privacy. We've all seen the viral videos about the guys that get interrupted on air while the kids. It's hysterical. But what you need, if we don't have a room that can be, the door can be closed and you can be in there by yourself, how do you carve this out? There's a couple of hacks to be able to do this. One of my favorites is looking at how you can utilize a room divider. With room dividers, if you've got enough space, you want to grab one of their Kalex units. It's the transformer of room dividers because you can stuff it full of all kinds of cubby holes and storage and all kinds of things. It really works great and it comes in a bunch of different flexible sizes, so it's super usable. If you don't even have that space, you want to kind of look at some of their sort of drop screens. I like this wire one that they've done recently. There's also this one that goes floor to ceiling but has adjustable shelves so you can build that out into anything kind of you need for the space which I think is great. You can even put some of these units on wheels so it can roll up against a wall when you're not using it or pull it out when you do need that privacy. So they're super flexible and there's a lot of different hacks and variations. You've just got to think flexibly. So let's talk work surfaces. So Ikea is my go-to place for desks. I've had them for years and what I love is the line itself has a lot of options. There's also things for small spaces, very flexible options, and then on top of that, they've now added a whole build your own collection, so that way you can kind of hack your way through exactly what you want to have for your work surface. So one of the ones in their regular line that I love is the Malm. Now it's fairly limited in terms of its options, but it's a very pretty simple disc and not very large so it works in relatively small spaces. Another one that I really love and have had for a long time is the Skarsta, which is a desk that goes up and down with a little crank lever, which is super useful if you want to alternate between sitting and standing during your day, which is great. They even have cool little ones, and I don't know the name of this one, but we'll link it down below, is the little fold-down front that's mounted on the wall, and it slides down and hangs flat when you need a little extra space and storage. So that's a great little solution too. So these are just the regular desks in their regular line. Then there's this whole collection that you can put together that's modular, and you'll see how it builds together with additional storage as we go along. There's a lot to choose from here. Storage is the third thing that you really gotta consider. And it's kind of a big bugaboo for me because you know, homes and home offices should be no clutter zones, right? So how do we get all that stuff that we need to work, but then be able to put it someplace at the end of the day so it doesn't look constantly like a disaster zone? That's where Ikea rocks it because they have the best storage options for the money out there, bar none. Now, everybody knows I love Billy, the bookcases, which are, which are great, but the Kalex unit, when you're talking about storage, is amazing because it's so flexible, it's modular, and it has all of these fun little components like drawers and little hooky things and cool little tubs of stuff, and you can store files and all kinds of things in that. So it's like my go-to for things. Now, if you have a lot of documents that you need to store, that's another kind of storage. You could still use Kalex, but they also have a series called Galant or Galant, I'm not sure, which is very versatile and modular. And then they also have something called Halen or Halan, which is also another really great collection. You can see they look literally like built-in products. There's even the Hemness, which is a really nice piece. Looks literally like 
you know, millwork built-in bookshelves or a really pretty end unit of some sort. And yet those drawers are great for file storage and things like that. I know personally design offices are supply heavy. So I use the Helmer drawers, which I love because they're on wheels. And so I can roll them around wherever I need and I've already got my stuff with me. And the other one that I use a ton is all of their little rolling carts. I love their little rolling carts. They even introduced a new one recently that's basket woven. So I love that too. So another option that I use a lot and love is their pegboard product. Now, the only rule here is that if this thing is visible from another part of the room, make sure you're using the little elements that attach to the pegboard as solid so that it looks as neat as possible. Cause these can be hot messes or they can be super cute little statements about this is your working space either way, but they're super versatile. As always, we're going to be linking all of these resources down below, including the Ikea hacks. And if you're liking these tips, smash the bell, ring the buzzer, subscribe, do all that stuff. Next one guys, good lighting is critical. So Ikea has great task lighting solutions. If you're a night bird or you get up super early in the morning, you have got to have really great focused task lighting. And Ikea is a champion there. They excel in this. They've always had good lighting options, but they've got great task lighting options. Like I love this articulating arm one. In fact, I've had this on my desk for years. They've also begun to do some of these that are the clippy ones. So you could attach a couple onto maybe your upright Kalex unit if you like. There's a lot of different varieties. They've even introduced one that I love here that's a Sonos speaker unit below the actual light thing. And it works like a table lamp. So it's a little bit more overall than task lighting, but they've really got some great and sexy little options here. And they'll be perfect for you because they have small floor plates, don't take up a lot of room, but give you a lot of task lumen levels at your work surface. So the next biggie that we wanna make sure we touch on is chairs and stools. And you know, it's kind of a personal choice for a lot of people, but here's my opinion on it, which is that if you spend a lot of time either in a desk or at a desk, you wanna invest in your seating option because it's your body and you wanna make sure it's supported the way you need it to be supported. So recently they've added more items and more variety here in this category. I love this one that has the super tall back and the mesh. That's a really great and comfortable chair. They also have one that has the smooth side that comes up in sort of an egg shaped back. I really like that one too. It also has adjustable arms, which is really great. This is a beautiful chair for either you know, a conference table, or if you like to lounge at your desk a little bit, which is fine because it has this formed back, which is really nice. And then I love this Skroofsta, I think that's how you say it, which is a little bit of like an egg chair on wheels, which are really great. There's stools, they brought out a new one that I absolutely adore. Not only does it go up and down, but the little seat adjusts at an angle for you with just a little touch of the rim. It's a really groovy little stool, especially if you're at a standing desk. So these are all ones you definitely want to check out, try and see if you like. Now the last detail you want to make sure you cover is kind of your accessories, right? The things that go either on the top of the work surface or are, you're using for things. They're like desktop clutter cages. You know you want to have a vase for fresh flowers. They have some super groovy ones when you come to that. In fact, I love this one that's the paper filer and desktop organizer that's in the deep gray with the bullet heads. That's a fabulous looking one. Or this super white simple one, which is very pretty and clean, would work in a nice feminine office. That's really great. And again, like I said, don't forget your vases. They have tons of them, either in just the clear glass. And if you're a Gustavian Scandinavian gal, you're gonna love this gray vase with the little reading on the sides. That's beautiful. And don't forget your baskets. They have a huge selection of baskets that help you get organized, put your folders and binders in there. They're a must have. So let me show you some of these hacks that I just think are fantastic. I love this one that has the 
floating drawers that have then been wrapped in a little bit of stained wood with the little hairpin legs. That's spectacular. And here's another version of those same drawers, not wrapped, but then they've put a base on it and they've sprayed it gold so it's super feminine, which is really lovely. And I love the little black and white carpet. All of that's very fun. You can also get that there. And I love their sawhorses. They're very versatile. I love this hack where someone's actually taken the sawhorses, lifted them so that they can be a standing desk. They've added that double floating drawer shelf and another surface so that computer monitor is at eye height. So I love this thing. I think that's a fabulous idea. And then there's all kinds of great hacks with using their rolling storage cabinets, either file drawers or supply drawers with long surfaces. This one is super sexy. Somebody just did a bleached blonde top wood surface and then used the open drawers for supplies in a black, which I think that's just really great. Or I love this one where they literally built it into an attic. There's three long sets of storage drawers and then they added specialty hardware that was fun and then built a custom top that fits right into the little dormer section. That's fantastic. So these hacks are just amazing. Or even this one, oh, which has roller wheels on the bottom of the same unit that you just saw in the dormer with a reclaimed wood top that's kind of irregular. So they put glass on top of that. So now they have this fantastic, flexible, movable rolling desk that has all kinds of storage in it. So this stuff is just super flexible for you. Okay guys, so you ready? Here are my top 10 favorites that we've been talking about today. And I'm gonna kill all the names, but here we go. My number one is the Skarsta sit-stand desk. I love the Kalex units. The Billy units, of course, are great. The Rigad, or Rigad, charging light, which I love because you can put your phone on it. That's so great. The Helmer rolling drawers because you can get your supplies just about anywhere that way. The Skruvsta uh, desk chair because it's just kind of groovy. It looks like a little rolling egg. Um, the Lidkulin adjustable stool because I also work at a standing desk and I need a stool. The Skadis or Skadis pegboard system just because it's one of the best looking pegboard systems out there on the market. I love all of their rolling carts. And number 10 is I love all the great accessories, the baskets, the vases, all the rest of those things. You always want fresh flowers on your desk. Okay guys, so be sure and like, subscribe, binge, and share. And I'll see you next week.